So, this is a 49 key uh, toy keyboard that I found on the loft and I've decided to convert it into a MIDI keyboard. So, as you might be able to see, there's not really very many electronics left in there. Um, all I've literally got is the actual keys, um, which are 15 pins onto a breadboard and the other three wires are, well it used to be the headphone jack but I'm now going to use that for a sustain pedal um, and then we have an Arduino which is only really giving power to the breadboard at the moment um, so here's what used to be inside the keyboard it's uh, quite a tidy circuit board as far as I can tell it's all powered by um, this system on a chip here um, so that would be quite difficult to tap into um, and it probably doesn't even expose any MIDI signals to the outside world which is which is what um, I really want because the end goal is to be able to connect this to a computer how do we get this working is the is the big question uh, well the first thing we want to do really is to work out how the keys are organized um, because we've got 49 keys, but only 15 pins. Um, so they are actually organized in a scan matrix. Um, so basically the way that works is that the keys are organized into columns and rows. Um, so you essentially go through turning on each column. Um, so each column has eight rows. So that means we have eight keys. Uh, and then you turn on each column and check um, from pin 1 to 8 are any of these keys on uh, and if not then you move on to the next column and so on um, so to prove that working I can get a multimeter uh, I can turn on the Arduino as you can tell from the big blue uh, USB cable and I can Basically, if I put five volts onto uh, onto one of the columns, which is uh, five volts, is basically a one as far as you know turning it on with a sort of logical one. Right. So uh, the red rail is plus five. So basically, oh, we're just ignoring these three wires for now. They are for the sustain pedal. So if we put plus five onto pin well onto column one which will be these first the uh, first eight keys the black multimeter cable is going to go into the negative rail um, so we can put that over there and then for simplicity's sake, so I don't have to count which pin is which, uh, I'm going to put the positive multimeter wire into the last row of the uh, scan matrix. So column one and row eight. Uh, yeah, so there's there's um, the seven columns and eight rows per column. So if we do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right. So, so essentially the way that this works is you have eight pins, uh, and you turn on you turn on the first eight keys, so basically connecting those up to the output pins, and then we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, and that's you know sort of four point five volts, which is well. That's a, that's a logical one, so that's an on. And then if I, you know, turn it off and turn it on. We move to column seven and row one, then that should be the last key. So if we do, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then the one after that will be row one. So we can check that's the last key. Yeah. So that's that's basically how you uh, how you work out how the keys work. It's it's very it's very common. It's it's called a scan matrix, and that's basically the way that, um, as far as I know, all all keypads and and so on.